A small electric dipole P0 having a moment of inertia about its center is kept at a distance r from the center of a spherical shell of radius r. So this spherical shell is of radius r and therefore uh, r distance away from its center the electric field due to this sphere is going to be k q by r square. Of course, when R is greater than R and here the electric field is going to be zero because it's a shell. So inside it's hollow. So therefore the electric field is going to be zero. Now, uh, when we are talking about the electric field, so it's going to be K Q by R square. Now, what is the Q? Q is the entire charge present on the spherical shell. So therefore Q will become four pi r square into sigma which is mentioned here um, that the surface charge density is sigma which is uniformly distributed on the spherical shell so therefore e becomes electric field becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q which is 4 pi r square into sigma divided by r square and this r is greater than the radius of the sphere the dipole is initially oriented at a small angle theta as shown in the figure while staying at a distance r the dipole is free to rotate about its center so now the dipole is going to undergo small oscillations due to the torque okay so uh, the torque which is going to be is p cross e okay so p is the dipole moment which is p naught here and electric field which is r square sigma by epsilon naught small r square okay and this cross this is basically the cross product so therefore sine theta will also come and since the angle is a small okay so therefore i am writing sine theta is almost equal to theta so therefore this becomes theta so the torque which is now the torque which is now p naught r square sigma by epsilon naught r square into theta now this will be equal to i into alpha okay because um, if we see the torque is going to make it like uh, like for example the in this case the theta is in this direction of course the electric field is going to be in this direction so torque is p cross e so p cross e p cross e okay so it's going to rotate in this direction so the theta was in this direction but the acceleration is going to be in this direction the rotation is going to be in this direction so therefore we can as well include a minus sign here because the direction of theta and alpha are opposite so therefore the alpha becomes p naught r square sigma by epsilon naught r square into i into theta with a minus sign so let us recall the SHM in SHM alpha is equal to minus omega square theta okay so this entire thing becomes omega square okay so therefore we have omega as root over p naught r square sigma by epsilon naught r square i 
okay now let us go to the options now the dipole will undergo small oscillations at any finite value of r no this is going to be wrong because at r less than r the electric field is zero and since the electric field is zero so therefore there is going to be no torque produced p cross e becomes zero so therefore a option is not correct second the uh, the dipole will undergo small oscillations at any finite value of r greater than r yes because we are getting an omega hit so yes the b option is true c the dipole undergoes small oscillation with an angle frequency of this at r equals 2r so let us substitute so this becomes root over p naught um it's one p naught square was not there just p naught was there okay so p naught into r square sigma divided by epsilon naught and r is 2r so therefore this becomes 4r square i this is gone gone so this is 1 by 2 root over p naught sigma by epsilon naught i which is not matching so therefore c option is not correct for the d option we have to substitute r equals to 2r so therefore omega becomes root over p naught r square sigma by epsilon naught and this is 100 because it's 10 r so 100 r square into i okay as you know r is 10 r so therefore obviously r square is going to be 100 r square that's why we substituted here so therefore this is these both things are going to cancel so it's going to be 1 by 10 root over p naught sigma by epsilon naught i which is exactly matching so therefore the options which will be correct are b and d thank you